Six years on, Corlys Velaryon, Lord of the Driftmark, is severely wounded fighting in the Stepstones. His brother, Sir Vaymond, petitions King's Landing to name him as Corlys heir, proclaiming Rhaenyra's son, Lucerys illegitimate. Rhaenyra and Demon return to the capital to defend Lucerys' claim. They find King Viserys is bedridden, disfigured, and his mind muddled. Queen Alicent and Sir Otto Hightower now oversee all royal duties. Prince Aegon rapes a handmaiden, which Alicent covers up. Upon Sir Vaymond's arrival at the Red Keep, Rhaenyra proposes an arrangement to gain Princess Rhinus' support. She also implores Viserys to defend her succession, quoting Aegon the Conqueror's dream about the prince that was promised. Sir Vaymond presents his petition at court. Viserys, barely ambulatory, enters the throne room and declares Lucerys the Driftmark heir. When an enraged, Vaymond calls Rhaenyra's children bastards, Demon beheads him. During a feast, the family appears to mend their differences. After Viserys leaves, Aemond makes a veiled insult against Rhaenyra's three oldest sons, inciting a fight. Later, Viserys, near death, mutters parts of Aegon the Conqueror's dream, which Alicent believes is about their son, Aegon. <laughs> 